Hey everybody, welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today we are making braised leeks. Cue the music. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. If this is your first time watching, please do me a favor and go down and hit that little subscribe button right there and then hit that notification bell and that will notify you each and every time I upload new content. Like I said, today we're going to be making a braised leeks, so let's head over here and see what our ingredients are. We're going to start out with some uh, leeks here. I've got about four tablespoons of butter. We're going to use this chicken base to make a little bit of chicken stock. And then of course I've got salt and pepper to season this as we cook. All right, now that we've introduced our ingredients, we're gonna start our prep before we start cooking. All right, we have got our leeks. There's three of them here. Um, what you do is you just kind of peel off the looser leaves. And you can see that that's just got a ton of dirt in it. We are going to wash and rinse these very well. Some places say to soak them in some recipes for a couple minutes just to get that water loosened up. But I like to take it right about where the color starts to change. It goes from white to green, and then you get that really dark green in here on all three of these. I'm just going to kind of cut right where that starts. You can see the dirt on the cutting board as well. And then you just turn them around right here where the little sprouts roots start. And then you've got yourself a nice cut right here of the leek. Uh, we're going to see there's still dirt in there too. You take that outer skin off as well on these. And then I just take them after I've kind of cut those roots off because I want to braise them in the pan and I want to do it flat side down in the pan. I'm just going to cut them lengthwise and that will probably reveal some more dirt in here. These aren't too bad. I worked with leeks that were just terrible. But uh, you want to move this, this skin here too. It's, it is pretty tough and it'll have a hard time braising, you know. So I'm just going to remove this last. There's some dirt in there, see? So I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to actually soak these for about five minutes. I want to loosen up this dirt as good as I can. Okay, and now we've got most of the dirt off. They are still wet. I'm going to just kind of pat them dry with a towel because we are going to be throwing these into some hot fat, or in this case, some butter. So I just want to get them as dry as I can because I don't want to get splattered when I add it to the hot butter. So now that they're all clean and chopped, I'm going to go ahead and set up over by the burner and we will whoop, and we will start the braising process. All right, I've got our butter in here. I'm going to get this melted down and we want to wait until it's just about ready to start turning brown and then we're going to add our leeks in there. Okay, our butter is melted. It's starting to bubble. And that's usually when it's ready to start browning. So I'm just going to add the leeks in here and I'm putting them down, as we discussed earlier, flat side down, right into that butter. So we can start softening these up, seasoning these up, and getting a little color crust on there to help enhance the braising before we move to that step. So we're going to let these sit in this hot butter and cook before we flip them over. We got some good fragrance coming off of here. You can see the uh, color on there. I'm just going to turn these over and try to get the other side as well. If it breaks apart, that's fine. Oops. This is going to get cooked either way when we add the liquid to it, which in our case is going to be the chicken broth. Now this is, I'm taking this one out because it's a little tough. It's one of the outer skin leaves. And I'm just taking it out because I know it's tough. And I don't think braising it with liquid is going to help at all. So this has got some good fragrance coming off of there. I'm just going to hit it with a little salt and pepper. And we're going to prepare our stock now. All right, butter is browning. We have gotten both sides of our leeks with a little bit of color. They're starting to wilt just a touch. We, we have seasoned them. So now I'm just going to add some of this chicken base in here. Let it bubble a little bit. 
I'm gonna mix that up a little bit. There's not too much of a deglaze going on because there's really nothing to scrape. But you've got all that flavor. We're gonna let this get to a boil. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it and let it simmer for about 15 minutes in that chicken stock. Let's pan in a little bit so you can see how that looks. Yeah, this the fragrance in this kitchen is pretty good. All right, we got to a good boil here. I'm going to cover this up, and I'm going to turn it down to a simmer. All right, it's been 15 minutes. I added the little, about a third of a cup of stock that I had into this, just because I want to share with you something. Now, we're going to take these out and plate them, and you're going to have that reserved stock in here. Do not toss this or discard it. It is good for a lot of things. You can add it to soup. You can add it into sauces or you can save it for any kind of thing you want to do because it's got all that flavor in there now with the leeks that have perfumed it. And uh, I just wouldn't discard it. There's all kinds of ways to use this. So I'm just going to keep it. I'm going to bottle it up and use it again most likely in a soup or a stew or a sauce or anything that I want to add a little more flavor into. But what we're going to do right now is I'm going to pull these out. I'm going to drain them a little bit and then I'm going to plate them up. We're going to take some awesome pictures of them for social media. And then we're going to put those pictures into the timeline of this video with some groovy, groovy music. And then we're going to come back and we're going to taste these. So enjoy the music and enjoy these pictures. leeks. I threw a little Parmesan cheese on there just to give it a little beautiful color and some uh, another fragrance in there as well as to kind of help the presentation. The uh, braised leeks, they smell good. The kitchen smells fantastic. The chicken stock, the Parmesan cheese and the butter uh, with the salt and pepper. Um, I'm gonna, we're gonna tripod up into another shot here and then we're gonna taste these. All right, here is our leeks browned and braised and ready to eat. I did cut them off camera for tasting. That's what they look like. They are tender. I did notice when I cut into them that there's there was one in there that was kind of tough, but I pulled it out. It's uh, kind of, you can't get uniformity all the way across with these leeks, I know that. And if that's a problem, just continue to boil them a little bit or simmer them a little bit in the stock until they do soften up. There's no point where they're going to be too soft because I think they, they won't fall apart on you. So there is our braised leeks right there. I'm going in for the taste. Wow, this is very good. I've never actually sat down and ate a plate of these. I've tasted them before, but I've never sat down and tasted them before. These are pretty good. Very tender. It's got a good flavor with that chicken stock in there that braised in. You can taste the butter. Parmesan cheese was a good addition. Uh, really don't need to add a whole lot more to the way to flavor it. The salt and pepper and the chicken base and the butter. I mean, that's really all you need for this. The leeks stand out on their own. Uh, don't forget to save your stock. Don't ever waste that. That can come in, especially if this tastes so good, you know that stock's gonna be really good as well because you've infused that chicken stock with this leek flavor. That's a third of your mirepoix right there. So use it, save it and use it for something. I am going to finish these. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you joining us today. Hit that description box below. It's got the recipe down there and also a ton of groovy links um, like to my seasoning shop on Etsy and some other helpful videos like how to make a video on YouTube if you want to start your own cooking show. Um, I appreciate you joining us again. Like I said, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Don't forget to like this video and then share this video and this channel with everyone, everybody you know. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.